let's do more sea of stars if you're watching this later on youtube thanks for clicking hope you've been enjoying so far i just noticed that the campfire here is updated there's more people here it's a nice touch tonight is about progress for this game i need to get this game done because limited access to it so we've arrived at a clockwork castle Seems to be okay. Um, I'm going to assume this is the way. The Clockwork Castle. We made it. The Dweller of Strife is somewhere in there. You. We are bound by oath not to let you enter the Acolyte's headquarters. And what about your oath as Solstice Warriors? That one was not taken willingly. Valir, please heal, hear me out. Step aside right now. Stick to the plan, Brugaves. The Dweller will knock some sense into them. Fine. We only need to buy some time. Please, Zale, surrender. Forget it. Then it brings me no joy, but we must ensure the Acolytes finish the waking ritual. Do your worst, bring it. Um, uh, hey, I think we should sit this one out. Oh. Great, got rid of it. Um, we can only stop this one. Yeah, let's gang up. Surely they don't have a heal. How are you supposed to prevent that? to do this. Too low to risk it. Oh, they did the same thing.
Good, I targeted the healer. about it. I can't stop this. Let's just tear it with this. Yeah, that's what I want. Get out of here. Oh, okay. That should be enough. You can still join. You can still join us if. Don't you dare get lost. Let's go, Brigades. Jeez. Just snuck in there, huh? And now we're all healed up. Okay. So it appears to be front loading a bunch of food. That can't be good. Just means it's preparing me. It's like, why else would it hand me this much food all at once? As long as they're not attacking. It's fine. I 
I know this might seem silly, but like, I'm worried. Seems like a lot's about to happen. sister it reverts very quickly hmm I don't think it's quick enough to climb up what am I what am I missing here too quickly. Oh, there's pressure plates. No, they're not pressure plates. What are they? I can't climb back up. There's got to be a way to solve this. that quick. What? I'll just jump down here. No, I can't jump down here. Did I make a mistake? There's no way that this game has soft lock. Like, there's something here that I'm missing. Doesn't seem to be that. I have no idea. <laughs> There's no way back either. Let's see if there's a button or something. I'm surprised you can't interact with this. This almost looks like it's it's a puzzle. Hang on.
Oh, wait a minute. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, what does this mean? It shoves it out? Oh, that's very sneaky. Okay, um... Push it out. Right? I mean, I did what I wanted it to. There's another way to leave the room, so I guess I did the right thing. Oh, this is so weird. It's like a clockwork castle, but then there's, it's mixed with flesh. Like, you can see it. It's bizarre. Hmm? Question mark? the key, right? Yeah, I do. So then... Let's have a look. Maybe I missed something. I guess since I'm out here. to be any well hang on I 
I'm gonna do this again. Maybe I did this too early. Ah, uh, there we go. I, had it. I needed to hit it twice. Another one of these. puzzle. One more left. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Like, really? Ooh, what is this? It's like a town in here. Oh, travelers, would you like to see a. Oh, yes, where's. Okay, um. Got a bunch of stuff to salt. Is not. If you need anything, you should talk to Kyle. Kyle. Yes, this will do. I can't wait to see their faces. Um. Oh, visitors! Nice to meet you. My name is Garl, and these are my friends Val, Zael, Sarai, and Rashan. Hello, everyone. I'm Kyle. I hope it's not rude to ask, but. Are you human? Pretty wrinkly for a kid, huh? That's because my friends and I have been 10 years old for a very long time. What do you mean? 
time. What about it? It doesn't pass within this castle. Or rather, it doesn't pass within the bodies of the residents. We cannot die of natural causes, but we must remain here always. This time prison has been our home for centuries. If we were to leave, we would instantly age and die. So that's the gist of it. Well, that's grim. It's okay, we like it here. Plus, we get to be kids forever. How cool is that? Even though making machines for the bad guys ain't exactly our preference, Chill beats the alternative. And what's the alternative? Ask the assassin. Anyway, what brings you here? We came to confront the Acolytes and take down the Dweller of Strife. Oh yeah? For that, you would have to get through that big door leading to the Ritual Room. But in order to do that, you would need to fetch the Watchmaker's Master Key atop the Clock Tower. And in order to do that, you would need to break the magic seal on the door leading to the clock tower. So, you're out of luck. And what makes you think you can take on the Dweller anyway? Val and Zale are Solstice Warriors. Really? Prove it. Bring the night. Watch this. Yep. Whoa. No way. Did you see that? Val, was it? Please come here. Now, touch this crystal with your palm. It worked! Kyle, you're a genius! What was that? The proof that Eclipse magic can be catalyzed. The implications are beyond words. Does this mean you can help? Yes, this experiment changes everything. We have a device that can help you against the Dweller of Strife. You can enter the Clock Tower now, just need to get the Master Key while we finish our preparations. The Acolytes are in for a surprise, haha. -ha. That was so cool. I wish I could control light too. Let's try. Come on, we have to finish preparing the device before they return. Do the thing with us, Kyle. <sighs> okay, just for a little bit. I don't know why... I mean, I guess there's some implication here, but like, they were saying they were young, but old? I don't know. We'll see. Oh boy, it's timed. Uh... Okay. Oh, and then this can go across, I see. Red or green? Okay, I guess... I was like, you know what? Red is, is always negative. Let's just pick red. No one picks red. But it actually means active or inactive. I was trying to be different. Hmm. What am I... Okay, hang on. What am I supposed to do with this? Ah, 
あー。Evergreen leaf. I think I've gotten that before. Yeah. Okay, so this is a better version of that. The sponge gets spongier. I think everyone has something. I mean, I guess I could... Oh, no, but you can't equip two of them. Hmm, that's fine. Damn, that's a 300. Okay, well. <laughs> hmm. So much for that puzzle. I was like, there's no way it's just one, two, three. It's. It's this. It's gotta be this. I guess we can go up another floor now. <laughs> nice try. Not bad. I guess I should beat him. Oh, uh, what have I got? Sandwich, that'll do.
Okay, I got it. She's still going. Okay. Crap, but there's a way to get that chest. How does one get that chest? Oh no, there we go. I thought I would have to do something different. Okay. There's more to this room than that. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh crap, hold on. Whoops. Ooh, that's... That's not good. See if this does a lot. Okay, at least I got rid of the thing. Oh, that's cool. It sets up for it. That's very cool. It keeps them in that position. That's a neat little synergy. Blue leaf? Ooh. Yeah, I reckon do this. Gives her more casts of the shield. Like, that has been clutch in boss fights. Wait, can I get back easily, or is this... No, I have to go all the way around. Are you the watchmaker? Take that as a yes. Look, we need your master key in order to... 
Whatever you may need, I take no part in any conflict. Is that your master key? Quite peculiar how it happened to appear just like that. Are you saying we can take it? I'm simply pointing out the peculiarity of what just happened. I have work to do. Do not touch that. <laughs> Want to challenge me to a game of wheels? Don't be silly. You haven't been all the champion yet. Now this is like bonus content. I haven't played the side game yet. Did you get the key? We did. Perfect. The door is just up there. While you keep the acolytes busy, we will sneak the device past the ritual room. It was designed a while ago to fit on the second tower, so you will have to lure the dweller there somehow. Sounds risky, but I'm sure we can do it. Once you see it in action, you won't regret the hassle. Are you sure it will work? Now that we've confirmed the clip's magic can be catalyzed, absolutely. Okay, we have a plan. A familiar form of magic. Okay. Do they have a cat? Oh yeah, they do. Aha. all four of them. You're a bit early, I'm afraid. Good. The Dwarrow Strap isn't ready to play yet. We're taking it down. Step aside or else. Ha <laughs> ha Bold of you to assume you can take all four of us. Bold and deluded too. Kale, where do you think you're going? Get back to your workshop at once. You've got a bigger problem to worry about over here, creeps. Three. Commence. Okay. Tricky. I'm gonna buy us time.
man. I have to get like the deflect of my life off. Ah, oh, come on. I didn't get it. Keep her in this. Man, she was out either way. I don't think I can stop that for now. Let's just... This dude is the most problematic. Oh my god. I think I'm down. That's annoying. This is going to be a tough fight. Okay, I know what must be done. Oh, we gotta go through this again. There's no skip. Oh my god, I suck at that ability. Hits Gaul. Oh, my God.
I don't have Roz. Get him, Sponge. Oh, just survived. ones that need the most heal, you. Defender, hopefully. survived. Okay, that's fine. Everyone's okay. Okay, one down. going for it. Nice, it's two down. Okay, shield up. Oh shit. Oh my god.
just gonna get the timing right. Okay, I'm focusing this one. Get her out. Okay. That was a little tough. Um, I'll give him more physical defense. Just the tank. I'm not really sure how to build this, dude. But I guess utility. Give him mana. Yeah. Who are you? Oh, boy. That's a loss, it is awake. Awake and angry too. Quick, if we run now, there's still a chance. Run, haha. -ha. The dollar has your scent, it is too late to hide. That's exactly what we're counting on. Full straight into the belly of the beast. I think I'd use the sandwich from memory. Oh no, I didn't. Wow. Okay. Disregard. The solstice amulet is singling. Okay, we've got the Eclipse. Let's hurry. Watch out! It's coming again! Uh... Would you like to have a look at my wares? <laughs> I'm good. That last attack blocked the entrance. Time to climb. There you are! Okay, well, what's the plan? You just fight this thing as hard as you can, and the crystal will absorb some of the energy you unleash. Whenever it's fully charged, it will fire. Understood. Nicely done, team. The device is perfectly calibrated. We'll clear the way now. Good luck, Solstice Warriors. Ready, Val? You bet. We can't do much, but we'll support however we can. 
I am not touching the dweller. But, oh yeah, right, he leaves. Garl and I have got your back. Ooh. It's time. Guess there's not a whole lot of time. Ooh, even this. It's not really gonna work that well. Okay, let's just do this. Eesh. Okay, girl, you're up. Laser. Not enough for Moonshiv. Can do this. Blast time. get hits in. Jeez, she's protected by three shields. I don't think this is gonna do much. Let's do it. 
Не знаю. I just like seeing the animation, it's so cool. <laughs> Five damage, wow. <laughs> Five, yeah. Um, I can do this, we can do this. Just have to get one deflect. Good enough. Oh, you're kidding me. Okay, well I don't want her to eat the hit. He's fine. Yeah, do this. Or, you know what? No, don't. He can heal himself. Oh no, she lost all her shields. Psst. Shield again! health does this thing have? It's getting more aggressive. Uh-oh. Tower got knocked down. Sail? Sail! Let's keep fighting! Oh, crap. Alright, Luna Shield. What? Oh, come on. Or is this like an intention? This has to be like an intentional loss. They can't do it, but Rashan, you must help now. Well, 
There are rules. I can't touch a dweller. Hey, that's not fair. We've been nothing but nice to you. You agreed to my terms. Screw your terms. <laughs> okay. You fool! Oh, you have really done it now. What's happening? Let me do the talking and whatever happens, do not attract his attention. Whose attention? Our lord returns at long last. Our lord and master too. I thought we had a deal. It wasn't me. Oh, spare me the old excuse. The vial of time touched the dweller. Whether you did it yourself or let it happen, this is on you. An eye for an eye then, but we will get to that. Dweller of Strife. How? Fleshmancer. Master, we... One? Yes, Master, I am honored that you remembered me. How could you stay alive for so long? Surely you spent plenty of time outside of the castle? Sacrifice. Sacrifice and dedication, too. We use the Vampire Rose. The Vampire Rose. Tell me, does it hurt? All the time. Interesting. I commend your dedication. Master. Still resurrecting a dweller. Who provided the blood moon? We did. You have my thanks. What is your wish? Master, if I may. Speak. The sorceress shows unparalleled magical prowess. I believe she would make a great lieutenant at your current headquarters. And what about the other one? He prefers to forget and demands only confirmation that he will never have to fight these solstice warriors again. I see. I am not losing the Dweller of Strife again. Acolytes. Master. Are you prepared to serve for all eternity? We desire nothing more. Then leave now alongside my dearest creation, and in time I will see to your transformation. Yes, the four of you will be merged with the Dweller to become its conscience. In the distant future you shall return together as one, the king of a new race. Thank you, Master. Do not interfere. This creation will be unstoppable. Now I suppose a proper sidekick is in order. Martial artist. You, you wish to forget? I do, and I never want to fight Solstice Warriors again. Then let us make sure you are not needed for a very long time. Go now and follow the Dweller and the Acolytes. Val, it's not too late if... We have nothing to talk about. Zale, you too can come with me and be free of... Just leave. Save yourself. It's all you can do for now. Alina. If there is a way, I will find you again. 
Live on, Brugaves. Everything I did, I did for you. Just remember. Enough! Time to go. Brugaves, is it? Allow me to give you a new form and a new name, and I shall grant you all your wishes. All my life I tried to do what was expected of me, only to hear again and again that I was too slow. I desire only one thing, new master, to feel adequate and to fit my role. Oh, not to worry. When I am done with you, you will be the fastest as ever been. Sorceress, it appears my current seat of power may come under fire soon. Help me defend that and I will make you ruler of the world that when I leave. Do these terms suit you? They do. Then allow me to give you a new form and a new name and I shall grant you all your wishes. I want power. Power overwhelming. Perfect. Go now and I will be with you shortly. Now, where was I? Get behind us. An eye for an eye then, Rishan. A single hit, that's the deal. Why? Afraid they can't take more? Do your worst. You're nothing but a loser. Garl. <laughs> Watch out. I thought we established that stopping time was impossible. How do you do it, Rashan? It isn't really stopped. I had an epiphany while experimenting with time loops. Time could be brought to a near complete stop by creating an infinitely short recursive sequence. Genius. And I suppose these crystals are what hold what's holding the time loop together. They're beautiful. What do you call them? Time shards. You always were the better artist. I would ask if I could keep one, but I understand they will dissolve when you break the loop. So, how have you been? Sulking in your archive for a few centuries again? How much is enough, A for all? Have you still no regard for the pain and suffering you leave in your wake? Well, please, do give me that lecture again. These solstice warriors, why are you traveling with them? They're not ready to ascend. We will see. You think they will come after me? Did I earn a slap on the wrist again? You took over an entire species. <laughs> you know as well as I do that these lives are lost anyway once you've recomposed the timelines. Still, procrastinating that one, I noticed. One more wrong will not make this right, eh, for all. Their suffering is real. And so is mine. You know what? I agree. Let's skip the usual debate. But to answer your question, yes, I do believe these two will drive you out of your current stronghold. Oh, don't make me laugh. Even if they somehow made it across the Sea of Stars, the Sorceress would be my champion. And, as I'm sure you could tell, her potential is limitless. They can do it. I am certain. Now, would you look at that? Rashan wants to pit an innocent children of the solstice against their former mentor, and somehow I'm the bad guy? To think that you could stop me with the snap of your fingers. But no, you chose to cling to the silly belief that this all turns to good someday. Enough. <laughs> As you wish. 
Thanks for the chat, partner. Ah! Carl! Uh, ah! No. Rashan, do something. He took a direct hit and has no innate magic to protect himself. Even I can't help. I'm sorry. <laughs> Who's the loser now, huh? He'll be dead in a few moments. Any last words? Uh, ah! Carl, no. We can't lose you. Huh? Fail. Elder Mist? There is something your friend must see before he passes. But... It is time. Let it in. Embrace your true power and bring Gaal to me. The Elder Mist. We have to go right now. What? That's way too far. Gaal is dying. Don't you see, Val? The distance is always short if we fly it away. Oh, shit. Solon? Sail. So you really were the spark after all. Run while you can, Fleshmancer. The Sorceress and I will be waiting. Come if you dare. Carl. Luana. Quick. <laughs> Everyone's just teleporting. Oh, well, you can turn into a bird. Does it feel any better? I... Not really. Zale. It really hurts. I'm so sorry, buddy. I feel colder and colder. Carl. Hey, we got to fly in the end. That's pretty good, right? <laughs> ah! Try not to talk. So, you'll go after Alina and the Fleshmancer? That doesn't matter right now. Seems like they left for a faraway place. Don't worry about it, Carl. Just stay with us. I wish I could help you get there. I wish I could help you one last time. Who? When death is near, the unresolved chapters of one prophecies beckon. The way to help may be in there. Allow me. Maybe if he had a real shield. I mean, he had one, ultimately. Oh, that stone. The sky, the dragon, the volcano. I'm not gonna remember this. The sky? Val, I just had a vision. I think I know how to help you go after them. Thank you, Elder Mist. I understand now. The Sea of Stars. <coughs> But it's too late. If I had just one more day. Come on, kid. I can't do it if you don't ask. When that moment comes, demand a flask of borrowed time. Rashan, I demand a flask of borrowed time. Okay, that really hit the spot. I feel as if... Ah! 
Uh. Huh? I'm... Listen carefully, Gal. The ethereal feeling you're experiencing is a side effect of borrowed time. The potion's magic only worked because you had clarity of purpose. You currently exist in between realities. Borrowed time will keep you here until your deed is done. But you must understand, you will still die in the end. That cannot be changed. It's okay, I understand. And I know exactly what to do first. Girl! Hmm? You're just going to act like nothing's wrong? I don't have much time, Val. I want to make the most of it. Don't say that. There might still be a way. There isn't. I'm sorry. If you use the time for anything other than the stated purpose, the borrowed time will expire instantly. Guys, it's okay. I already did a lot more than a regular Moon Cradle Boy has any right to. All I want is one last adventure with you. Seeing Gal's final deed through is what will extend his borrowed time the most. You don't understand. We can't lose him. It's too late for that regardless. I just want to help one more time. Can you do this for me? Please, it's my final wish. You only ever get one of those. Come on, it's this or nothing. Let's make it count, okay? Let's make it count. Let's make it count. All right, let's do this. To get you across the Sea of Stars is people we need permission from. We'll need a bargaining chip, but I know just the thing. Where are those people? Way up. I suppose the flying was a spur of the moment thing. Yeah, I'm not too sure how we did that. The connection took place, but your new powers need more time to grow. It's okay, there's another way. That mysterious shrine out in the ocean south of Mesa Island is connected somehow. Yeet can get us closer, let's go. <laughs> Yeet. This is... Um... x -tol. So we're back here, huh? I wonder if the enemies have leveled up or it's still basic. Borrowed time. Alright. It would appear that these are the same, so they're just gonna waste my time if I fight them. Nice, good dodge. Time has made these indecipherable. Okay, well... Not quite a one-shot. God fighting with me now, sort of. 
Like, he said he will help, but... Just, I don't know. He's made it a... A rule that he will only help... And use the same amount of power that we have. And refuses to fight... Um, the Dweller evil things. So... It's like there's certain things he won't interfere with. He's still pretty strong despite only fighting at our relative level. I think I understand why he's tanky. If Gaal's gonna die, then... He's gonna replace Gaal as a tank. That's fine, because it's... I put points into Gaal, but at the same time, it's like... He would've gotten those points regardless, so I guess I should... Make Rashan tanky. But then again, he might be temporary as well. I don't know. I'll just keep going. Damn it. Well, this one shot. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, he was the dude telling the story. How every now and then it flashes to a dude in a library, so he was the dude in the library. And then you kind of barge in. It's like he's telling a story that... I guess goes the same way every time, but then... This is the first time it hasn't gone that way. For some reason. So I guess it's intriguing him why it hasn't gone the way it has. I don't know. Tingling of ancient magic have felt as if it had abs had all but completely faded away over time. This was the thing they pointed out. So, I mean... Hmm... I'll look at the map. I'm not sure that was the vision that appeared first. I mean, it pointed out the dragon, so...
There was an island that pointed out as well. Just have to go through all this again. I feel like I was baited into coming here. <laughs> oh yeah, I need, go, I, need, I need to go down here. It's okay. Maybe it was showing a pathway I had to take. I'm gonna go look for the island. Wait. Oh yeah, see, no, the stars on there. Okay. This was it. Let's see. This was the spot where I was supposed to go. Oh, he's like fading. The shrine you saw. It's that thing over there. Yes, I'm sure of it. This is how he reached the ones who can grant access to the Sea of Stars. It's way out of reach. Did your vision contain anything about how to get to it? I not really. I just know deep down we have everything we need. Val? Paths on the water. Huh? Where to go, Val? Quite impressive. How did you know? The Oracle of Tides. He said I could mend the connection. That was unreal. And we get to walk on it now. Come on. That's a teleporter. That tickled. Did it work? Sure did. This is definitely the place. Let's go. Man, the pixel art again just looks really good.
Hmm. This fishing seems to be easy. Yeah, that'll do. I haven't really had to cook fish lately. The Cloud Kingdom. Whoa. Who would have thought, huh? You know what it is you seek here. An audience. What? There's a council thing, I think. Let's look around. Oh. Giants. If you need to rest, I have a small corner. Visit as your size, okay. Sleep well. You can talk to the giants. Oh, you found the artifact. Let's see here. The three sisters. Okay, the vampire. Well, we can hear stuff. There was once a botanist who attempted to trick death by growing a rose so pretty she couldn't bear to reap it. Smitten, death spiraled into confusion as she appreciated the beauty of life for the very first time. Whether her next action was fueled by jealous rage or opportunistic guile, no one really knows. Using wicked magic, she turned the flower into something even more beautiful, but very cursed indeed. The vampire rose. A thing of beckoning beauty, compelling all who lays eyes upon it to willingly take part in their own corruption. Rumors of the magical rose reached all corners of the world, carrying a simple promise. A promise few could resist. Eternal life, provided they could take it. Despite the elation offered by the initial touch, the price became apparent all too quickly. For every second spent holding the vampire rose, a year would be added to one's lifespan. But for every borrowed year, a thorn would grow on one of their bones. Stories say all of the people to touch the vampire rose realized their mistake instantly. Having extended their life by but just a single year, they'd release their grip and live on, only with a very painful reminder felt in their very move. Every move. But there were others unable to stop themselves and became what few would describe as human or even alive. Though it is unclear whether the vampire rose yet exists, everyone agrees on one thing. It appears that in the end, death always gets the last laugh in the faces of these foolish enough to try and cheat her. The end. Three Sisters. It is said that whenever twins are born on a solstice, fate itself flips a coin. Their innate magic would either be incredibly heightened or corrupted into something that ought to be contained for the greater good. For generations, many solstice twins have accomplished great deeds, but despite their immense potential, could never ascend into guardian gods. For ascension requires one of the winter and one of the summer, but kindred souls are not meant to part for eternity. On the particularly warm summer solstice, fate's coin landed on its edge and triplets were born. As the great eagle's instincts indicated, it soon became apparent that morality had split itself into three, as if to see their innate magic expressed in distinct flavors. Because their actions would inevitably drive them far away from one another, they were given annoyingly similar names, Moyara, Yomara, and Romaya. Oh. Moyara w was flown to Moon Cradle, where she became a formidable solstice warrior and Zenith Academy's headmistress. The ever stalwart protector, Moyara, gave her life while leading the charge against the Dweller of Strife. Yamara was the neutral one, better known as the Crone of the Songshroom Marsh. 
Living a secluded life, she is an observer of the distant future, offering cryptic insights on key events and looming threats that may or may not transpire. By age five, she had correctly predicted the Fleshmancer would leave if the Dweller of Strife were defeated, at the cost of Moyara's life. Despite her immense power, she remains impartial in all conflicts. Meanwhile, Ramaya devoted, devoted her every waking moment to studying what could be understood of the Fleshmancer's ways and developed forbidden arts of her own. Through understanding of blood magic, she became the first necromancer and devised a way to trap souls within objects. One notable invention of hers is candles that never burn out, noticeably by Ramaya's signature green fire. Through ex their extreme commitment to differing paths, the three sisters have prompted countless musings on the choices to make one in one's life. To live bravely and self selflessly like Mo Moyara, and embrace an early death while fighting for a worthy cause, or to live a quiet and peaceful, albeit solitary life like Yamara, foregoing ambition for the sake of safety, but never discovering one's true self, or perhaps to indulge oneself like Ramaya, with utter confidence in her ability to overcome any retribution she might face as a result of her corruption. Could the Three Sisters truly be a trick of fate, or the spiteful game of gods unknown? Or is it simply that in our search for meaning, we sometimes mistake pure happenstance for prophecy? It is probably for the best that we shall never know. The end. Alright, the alchemists. Countless millennia ago, two powerful alchemists named Rashan and Aferol set out to create the elixir of life and succeeded. As all things in alchemy come at a price, the gift of immortality caused their bodies to decay, leading them to conceal their hideous under colorful robes. Reveling at first in the bright side of their immortal coil, they spent centuries nurturing the world and creating wonders to inspire its mortals. Over time, however, Aetheril grew increasingly jealous of the ephemality he would never taste again. Thus began his wicked journey into the forbidden schools of alchemy, a journey which would see every last bit of good in his heart dissipate as he experimented with soul, bone, flesh, and blood alike. As fate would have it, Aethril fully embraced evil and emerged as a Fleshmancer, a vengeful immortal plaguing the world with his monstrous creations. Rashan tried intervening as best as he could, but all that ensued was unspeakable chaos and collateral damage as the two former friends fought with godlike powers. Much After much struggle, Rashan discovered the Flesh Minions, only weakness to be solar and lunar magic, a power bestowed upon those born during a solstice. He began training these children to become solstice warriors, singularly tasked with culling the numbers of the flesh monsters' creations. But Aetheril's knowledge was also growing. Eventually, he became capable of creating oddities of unlimited potential known as dwellers. They would be impervious to all forms of magic except during a total eclipse when solstice warriors would have a very short window to attempt to take them down. And dwellers, it turned out, were creatures in development feeding on local life. Left to their own devices for too long, they would evolve into world eaters, spelling doom for all. Armed with knowledge and power, Solstice Warriors would patrol the world, tracking dwellers to determine which should be taken down during the next eclipse. If they remained vigilant, there would never be a world eater, but Rashan knew as... Rashan knew such a stalemate would only cause Aethril to devise something even worse. In a desperate attempt to get ahead, Rashan boldly performed transmutation alchemy on the very space-time continuum itself. After successfully splitting reality into countless timelines and parallel worlds, he shelved his alchemy vial and took up the mantle of the Archivist. On an endless journey across realities, he would catalogue every possible outcome in search of a, re a revolution to the throes of the Fleshmancer. Meanwhile, Aetheril rejoiced at the infinite number of opportunities for destruction that had just opened up to him. To find some measure of peace amidst their immortal conflict, the two alchemists made a pact to let the fate of each timeline play out on its own. And so the game of Cat and Mouse began, played by the Dwellers and Solstice Warriors on one level, and by Rashan and Aethril on the other. Across a myriad of timelines and over numerous centuries, some worlds would never be visited by Aethril, while others would be cursed by his mark. Once marked, it was only a matter of time until the world met its finality, often following centuries of struggle. Each would either be destroyed by a world eater or permanently be permanently saved by the ascension of a pair of solstice warriors into guardian gods. As to when Rashan plans on recomposing the timelines or whether he even knows how remains to be seen. The end. There you go. 
Well, that explains the whole thing. Takes telling the story of Sean's right there. Yeah, I'm sure he doesn't mind. Doesn't really have much of a choice. But how do I get back? Oh, Crystal. So I talk to the feet. Small visitors, did Luana mend the connection at last? The little ones, are you going to meet the council? If so, I wish you luck. They can be very difficult. I can see you, don't worry. Hello down there, I'm the local craftsman. Some of the smaller jewels I create should be your size. I'm gonna take a look. The Cloud Sword. Okay, we got that. Oh, we got a recipe. Peach Strudel, nice. I'll buy the music sheet as well. Yeah, I mean, Rashawn's whole thing is, like, he's watching the timeline play itself out. But he usually does it from afar, and this is the first time he's, I guess, getting involved to some extent. Who demands an audience? Present yourself! Ahem. I am the one demanding audience. We can hear you just fine, no need to shout. Oops. Name. Garl. Title. What? Title! His title is Warrior Cook. Luana? Mumble, mumble, mumble. Mumble, mumble, mumble. Warrior Cook. It is our understanding that you are on borrowed time. I am, and I have a request. Then speak. It's for my friends here. I want you to grant them access to the Sea of Stars. Mumble, 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 mumble. Do you understand what you are asking of us? Absolutely. And who will vouch for you? Vouch? I don't know, I thought we could just... I will. Mumble, mumble, mumble. Great Eagle, you honor us with your presence. Tell us then, do they possess the key? Yes, they have reclaimed the Vespertine. Do they possess the strength? Yes, Luana and Solon have awoken. They wish us to accept this final gift from their friend and complete their journey. Do they possess the will? Sarai. How did she get here? Determination. Mumble, 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 mumble. We deem this group of travelers satisfactory. This leaves only the matter of the deed. What does the warrior cook intend to offer in exchange for his friend's passive passage? I hope you have a plan. Well, what do you propose? I will wake the sleeper. You would bring total destruction to this world? What makes you believe we would accept such a proposition? Don't worry, I'll make it friendly again. The Elder Mist once told me that I might see this long-tormented soul. This is what he meant. I'm certain of it. Mumble, 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 mumble. That is a tall order. What is your plan? 
The runes in the moorland. I wasn't sure at first, but now I know what they meant. There are no more overts. How then? I will complete the ritual of the elements by cooking with them. Impossible. Mumble, 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 mumble. <laughs> we agree to entertain your plan. How will you use water? Magic due to instantly grow the crops I need. Sea monsters are extinct. Magic dew will not manifest without an enchanted scale. Don't worry, I know just the place to find one. How about fire then? Natural heat from the volcano without a name. Preposterous, the lava monster would kill you instantly. It's okay, my friends are pretty strong. Earth. The volcano will be terraformed by magic so I can use its summit as a giant oven to bake my creation. And I suppose you know just the wizard? Sure do, and that volcano will finally have his name, Kilton Mountain. Don't push your luck, kid. Mumble, mumble, mumble. Mumble, mumble. We like the name. That leaves us the final element. How does wind come into play? We will capture Zephyr in a bottle. When my creation is complete, I will let it carry the scent to the sleeper's nostrils. And why do you require a volcano-sized oven? Because I will bake the biggest loaf of bread the world has ever seen. Ha! <laughs> mumble, mumble. And what makes you believe that it'll be enough to make the sleeper friendly again? Oh, come on. No one can be grumpy when they wake up to the smell of freshly baked bread. Mumble, mumble. Mumble, mumble, mumble. We find no valid counter-argument. <laughs> if you can truly soothe the sleeper... We will grant your friends access to the Sea of Stars. Volcano is now open. You will also need this. The wind key. Right on. Great job up there, girl. Yeah, that went well. I have never seen the council so easily swayed. Okay, let's get back and plan this whole thing. It just reminds me of South Park and the rabble, 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 rabble. Well, I guess I wasn't supposed to read the mumble. Hey, what's your name? Punty. What do you ask? Great. One sec. All right. I don't have a lot of time, so we should split up. What? I'm staying with you. There's no time. Just trust me, okay? I'm in charge of Earth anyway. No danger on my path. And where is that? Remember Malcolmud? He promised he would come around if a good deed demanded his magic. You think he can terraform a volcano? Yep, plus the design I have in mind is pretty straightforward. Anyway, Zale, you're in charge of air. West of here is a skyline you can access using the wind key they gave us. Find Zephyr and bottle it up. Consider it done. Val, you've got fire. Go through the volcano and defeat the lava monster, then we can redirect the heat and terraform the summit into a giant kiln. Got it. Sarai, that leaves water. After dropping Val off at the volcano, get Hortense to take you back to the Sea of Nightmare. But please don't kill Hydra Lion. We only need one scale. Okay. Once you have the scale, just take it to the to Teaks in Mirth. The villagers will come together and grow to harvest the crops. Get as much as you can on the Vespertine and meet us at the volcano. Well, that'll be Kiln Mountain, Kiln Mountain by then, I guess. Understood. So first, who will use the boat? Val and Sarai, please stand in front of Punty here. Like, is Punty called Punty because she's going to kick them? What about me? Oh. Hi. Well, I assumed you weren't allowed to help. This matter isn't related to a dweller. I'm free to choose. Oh, okay. Uh, well, the four elements are assigned, but I guess you can join one of the teams. There won't be any danger on my path, though, so... Who do you want to help? Zale. All three. What? Oh, ha ha ha. This guy is good. He could have done this the whole time. 
Okay, Val, now say Kuka. Kuka? Yep. <laughs> Whoa. Pretty cool, huh? Alright, Zell, I'll see you over at Killed Mountain once we have everything. Stay safe, girl. I mean, one of them is called Yeet. Of course it was going to be. You bet. I'm alright, don't worry. Extol. The skyland is west of this village. Lead the way. Convenient bridge appears. Um... It's okay. The wind key. Oh, there we go. Zephyr is in there, but we'll need something that could shatter the crystal. Let's explore a bit. Well, that explains the crystal that we saw earlier now. D oh, damn it. Shit. <laughs> I missed. I hate it when it goes off camera. It's hard to predict. that much health right away. Did this wrong. animation. Ah, I got baited. I can't stop this. Let's get them all. I guess I have to go for this. This might be bad. Ow. 
Okay, well, Rashawn's gonna go down. Okay, good. Ugh. It's fine. That was close. I like this music. Oh, shit. Ooh, that's annoying. Than I wanted it to. Oh. Okay, good. <laughs> I needed a combo with them. I'd be interested to find out who Sarai actually is. They've just hinted she's someone important, but they haven't revealed who she is yet. That's, uh, that's bad. Got it. I might still lose. Oh my god, it did 30. That's kind of annoying. I love how he's not actually down, he's just sitting there, like, ah, yeah, doesn't phase him.
Okay, it's not that far behind. Oh, I attacked the wrong thing. Man, this is annoying. hanging there. Definitely going back. But I can't. Well, this is a predicament. Oh, there's another fight up there, you're kidding. Is there no, is there really no way back? Okay. Don't really have much of a choice. This is why it gave me all the, the ingredients before. I understand now.
Insta. do much about that. Okay, good. Sarah is scary. <laughs> Please, no more battles. Ah, oh, thank you. Yeah, we didn't have a KO heal. I need a KO heal. Mushroom soup, yo, you don't like mushroom soup? Mushroom soup is pretty good. Or oh, cream of mushroom soup. Do I like mushrooms? Fair enough. Right, but I want the chest. Assassin's pin. Ooh, that's like a Sarai item if I've ever seen it. Sky armor. Oh boy. Oh, I didn't heal like an idiot. Well, this might be my downfall. Yeah, no, that's, that's great. I love the part where I have to use two of these.
sound better. This is gonna take a while. Ugh, so much more fighting to do. Ah, can't get the timing on that. This whole area is obnoxious. Yeah, no, that's great. Oh yeah, no, both of them are gonna do it. I'm like so heavily on the back foot, it's not funny. Fight is just such bullshit. <laughs> they do so much damage. Interesting skill. It's just a shame it takes so much to use it. The long way. Okay. Oh boy, more of this.
Wow, this... Zale's already down. What is with this area? Like, this area is ridiculous. Oh, now he has to eat three hits. I'm just like non stop on the back foot here. Heal the party. This air is brutal. this cape is for him. Yeah. Man, we gotta be near the top. Please, no! <laughs> They've had enough of these fights. Uh, we're all so low. Look at, look at my healing items, how low they've been dropped to. This is hardly fair. Like, a party of two just gets shit on constantly. I can't really do anything about this, this is just like... Survival. If there's any more after this, like, I'm screwed.
Oh, goody. Okay, two went down, that's fine. That would have been GG if I didn't get that. Any idea what this is? A highly refined crystal, its energy matches the one containing Zephyr. Could it be used to break the other one? Without a doubt, but it won't budge. So if I extract the essence and frequency... Sail, do you have any magic item with a proper handle? Hmm. How about the coral hammer? Let's see it. Yeah, this'll work. Thanks, Rashan. Cobalt hammer. Carl hammer has been upgraded. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I just had my entire healing supply just like completely destroyed. Probably the most brutal this game has ever been. It makes sense, there's only two in the party. It's it's really difficult to soak damage. So, how do we capture wind? Leave it to me. That's it for us, then. I hope the others are okay. Okay, now it's Sarai's turn. Alright, just throw this pearl into the water where you fought Stormcaller. Immaculate Pearl. And here's a little something for the fight. Best of luck. Arcane Barrage. Oh boy. This is gonna be interesting. Hard mode. I mean, I'm gonna try it. Like, just go full greedy.
glass cannon. Okay, here goes nothing. Okay. I believe. The tail has... The tail is around now, so this makes things easy. Roshan's only purpose is to heal Sarai. Combo meter going. That was never going to work. Ow. Shit. Hang on, what have we got? Also delays its turn. Alright, good. That was bad, but it delayed, uh, delayed its turn. Feels all right. We're kind of desperate here. Oh shit, wrong one. I forgot that. Oh. Shit. Feel. Yeah, we got this.
can't really delay this. Ow. Okay, go. Yeah, it should work. That's it, perfect. Ugh, not enough. Can't cancel this. Well, let's try it. Oh, it worked. Gal was right. The scale will produce magic dew. Let's go back to Mirth. Time for the Great Harvest. And what are the shafts for? Oh, there's going to be a whole lot of wheat. But you see, if we just drop it all in there, it should get ground up on its way down and leave us with flour at the bottom. Grinding on volcanic stone? Yep, we're feeding a fire breather here. It is a big challenge, I don't know if I can do this. But I will try for you. Thanks, Malcolmud. That's all I can ask. So we go now? Yeah, Valir will have cleared the volcano by the time we get there. Oh boy. Well, at least this one... <sighs> I'm right behind you. Man. Uh, what can I do? I think individual heals are going to be the important thing here. Okay. Hey, Cammy, what's up? How's it going? Well, if the last two sections are anything to go by, this is going to be brutal. Just a 2v1 thing. That's not too bad. Oh no, they're kamikaze enemies. It resists moon. Of course it does. Well, I mean, 
at least the save point is accessible. I'm just gonna keep going back, I don't care. Come on, I'm alright. Just kicking back. Been, been a bit busy lately, but I think it's all good. Okay. Yeah, I don't care how long this takes. Like, these areas have just completely drained my healing items. Saw that. Nice. I see. At least I'm getting mushrooms back. Oh boy. Okay. I'm preparing myself. I'll get rid of the big scary one, because the other ones are kamikazes. I don't want to find out what this thing does. Nice. Oh no, but they really resist lunar magic. I gotta remember that. I know. I'll use this as a heal instead. Yeah. Uh-oh. I can't stop that. I don't know if it's even possible to kill these things without them exploding. Do, do your thing, do your thing. Blow yourself up. <laughs> we have a shield.
Okay, this is going a little smoother. It's just, her abilities are really good. Oh. Okay, I see why that, why that drill does what it does. Ooh. Okay, we can only s well, yeah, we can only stop one. These two definitely make a good team. Does not feel as much of a struggle. Over there. Oh, it's later on. Wait, what? Maybe not. Okay, I got lost. Hang on. I, I got what it's teaching. So annoying. 
Oh, I only went for one. Okay, that's fine. Is there any more to do? Most likely. Ah, oh, shit. I have to open up for heal. That's obnoxious. I can only stop one of them. I haven't really used many healing items, so that's fine. Oh, good. Can't really do much about this. Try attacking and hope that all. Okay. I'll just have to go for a heal immediately after. Ugh. even hard? This might not even be hard. Okay, it's not. I can't get any... I was gonna say, like, preemptive strike. Okay. Probably the first time I've had to do this. Just to make sure we can do combos. Wait, what? 
Okay, hold on. This is interesting. I can't stop this. I'll just go for a heal. Val's a good healer, as well. Peach Strudel is only- oh, it's MP, though. Cures- yeah. I mean, I'll make a couple of these. That's what I lost, anyway. This went much better. I did not have to resort to any food. Aside from two. Gala was just at our outpost and mentioned becoming. I came after grabbing what I could. What do you need? some of these older lids can go. This is our target? Yes. It's like a... Almost like a frog. It'll be vulnerable to lunar, your lunar magic. Good. Okay. Oh, I didn't rest. Oh, no. Oh, good. I can't... What? Poison... That's not possible to stop. That's not possible to stop. Alright. Since it's not possible to stop, I'll just do what I can with it.
Okay, it causes collateral damage. Oh no. Okay, just you take. No, 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 no. Heal. Okay. for the lunar shield. Probably the only way I'm gonna beat it like this. Combo time. Not bad. It's something. <laughs> Brush this ultimate attack. All right, do it. The Great Eagle. Oh shit. Oh, this looks cool. It heals as well, that's awesome. <laughs> carpet bombing, yeah, but the carpet bomb is good. This is just, yep. Just bag of dick.
Karte. Jo. Stopping that every time is just so tricky. What the hell? <laughs> just jumping everywhere. Oh boy, that's four detonations. Appropriate finish. Oh, he's still getting... I'm gonna give us some health. More magic as well. I'm gonna make Rashawn so much of a, somewhat of a sponge as well. Thanks for the help, Rashawn. Naturally. Now to wait for the others. And so we must come together for his final wish. For Garl! For Garl, for Garl, for Garl! Great job, everyone. That there hold be full to the brim. A valiant effort. It's time to set sail, all aboard. Wait for me. Totally, and the face on Zale too. Haha. <laughs> Girl, do you think? Sail. So you got Zephyr? Right here. How about Malcomed? He's still working on it. We'll need time anyway. Lots of crops in the Vespertine. Right, let's all go and... Ugh. Carl. I'm okay, Val. Just need a moment here. Ugh. Take it easy, okay? We'll carry the crops. But... 
You're right, that's probably best. I'll take care of it. You spend some time with your friend. Hi. Thank you, Sarai. Yeah, the villains are- I just realized the villains are the ones that use portals. And she can use those kind of portals too. Huh. Haha, <laughs> that's one way to. Ah! Take it easy, girl. Wow, this really hurts. I hope I'll be able to. We're with you no matter what. We didn't come this far for nothing. I'll see this through. I think I have finished. Yeah, are you happy with the result? Why do you ask? I did for you. Well, are you happy you did it for me? Yes, but I hope you like it. I'm sure he will, Malcolm. Then. I remember you. You can look too. Yes! Yes, yes. So the crops go up there, chuck them in. Flour fills up here for mixing. After a little kneading, bring it up there, need some more, let it sit with the heat and... Good job, Malcolm. that's perfect. I only follow your plan. Guys, this is going to be huge. Can we help? Of course. Malcolm, time for the hate. Perfection. Now we let it bake. <laughs> it comes and goes like... Right now, I feel just fine. Let's just share more memories, okay? That's all I want. Oh, I know. Remember when I brought you cookies while you were at the academy? Yeah, you never told us how you managed to make the flying platform move. With a monocle? Huh? Was this a magic monocle? Oh no, I used the focus sunlight directly onto the rune. It made sense, so I just went for it and it worked. The beam wasn't very strong, though. That must have taken hours. Sure did. Eight, in fact. <laughs> no way. Yep. Well, eight hours of sunlight, to be exact. That's excluding the night I spent halfway up in the air. How did you not get caught? Oh, I got caught, but I was already out of reach by the time Gran saw me. Wish I could have seen her face. Believe me, I wish I hadn't. And then... Ugh. Carl. I'm... I think my time's almost up. Don't say that. I have to... Have to finish this. Val, please tell Malcolm to cut the lava flow. Gah, Zael, I need Zephyr now. Here. I hope this works.
Look at that dragon. Thank you, Curious One, for this unprecedented act of goodness and generosity. Through your creation, the elements have soothed my long-tormented soul. Hey, any time. It's just bread, really. This marks a new beginning for me. If it is not too much to ask, would you be willing to give me a new name? I. Sure. Ugh. I still have a bit of time. I can do this. Okay, so what are your ambitions? My past was one of anger and destruction, but you have shown me the way to a higher purpose. I wish to honor your memory by becoming a devoted caterer. Ah, oh, that's so nice of you to say. <laughs> so a butler, huh? How about Sinclair? Now nah, hold on. Oh, I know. For this new life, I shall name you Wentworth. Wentworth? Once again, I thank you. Never have I encountered such a caring soul. I understand your time is almost up. Is there anything I can do to repay your kindness? There is one thing, yes. For my final journey, I'd like to fly on your back with my friends. It would be my honor and privilege. Then please take us to Moon Cradle. I want to be buried under the Celestial Willow. Carl. Hey, so we got to fly for a second time. That's pretty neat, huh? Should save your energy, Gal. I'm okay, it doesn't hurt anymore. I'm just really sleepy. We'll be with you until the end. I know, I'm so lucky. Hey, promise you one thing. Anything. I want you to use this gift. You, you'll travel across to see the stars, whatever that is. We'll do it for you. Hey, I mean, someone has to kick Alina's butt and teach the Fletchmancer a lesson. Might as well be you, right? We'll go and do that, don't worry. Oh, and you'll keep cooking too, right? Here's what I taught you. Every day. We'll miss you so much. Val, Zale, I can't thank you enough for everything. All those moments together, all the adventures. I couldn't have asked for better friends. But I... Oh man, that's... Oh, that's so sad. Jeez. We are gathered here today to honor Gal, the warrior cook. Born in Moon Cradle, he chose a life of adventure and accomplished many deeds. From fighting alongside Solstice warriors to founding the peaceful town of Mirth, he even managed to soothe the sleeper. Yeah, you surely showed him in the end, son. Good work. Like a true pirate, Jeff. This adventure won't be the same without you, pal. May he be remembered for his warm heart, his bravery, and his unrelenting smile. 
May he be remembered. Carl, you really were the best of us. I miss you so much already. This world will hear the stories of your deeds for generations to come. This is my vow. Thank you for teaching me, Master Gal. I'm glad you liked the kiln. It has been a couple of weeks already. Are we leaving any time soon, Captain? We are giving Val and Zale as much time as they need. I must hurt something awful. Their bond was a special one. She would hurt something fierce to lose one of our own. But you're right, Valtrade. Their friendship was something else. So, Captain, any idea for our next adventure? Yes. The time has come. Captain? Oh, how exciting. The story is a good story. I still can't believe he spent all that time on the platform with just a monocle and a cookie jar. He sure was a loyal friend. The best. Val, I think I'm ready. I've been thinking about Olina. No matter what kind of flesh Mansa monster she's become, we have to def defeat her. Wherever she is. Garl sure held his, up his end of the bargain. The Sky Giant's Council will let us through, I suppose. Across the Sea of Stars. Whatever that means. For Garl, then? For Garl. With innocence lost and purpose reaffirmed, the powers of Luana and Solon start to awaken within Val and Zael. Ultimate attack, salvation, retribution. Oh man. So y'all ready to avenge your friend? We are. Man. Back to the Sky Council, we, we can go to the shrine right away if you want. I'll be here. Is there anything to do here? Oh, they're all like, still. Oh no, I do need to rest. Jeez. It didn't heal me. I wonder if there's going to be an entry for him now. Hey, you found a new artifact. Let's see here. Kuka the Unyielding. I'm surprised there wasn't, like, a story for Garls now. Of the many events from the time of the Ovates, many consider the foundation of the kingdom in the clouds to be the most significant. It was back in the early days when the world was still being shaped. Once they had completed the islands, they started working on the travel golems. 
The Ivats first built Yeet in Extol, and rejoiced at, e at the ease with which they could activate them using power words. But for Mesa Island, something more was needed. A sentient, sentient golem. One that would not simply obey commands, but carry purpose. The reason was that this specific island was at sea level, but as the Ovates had seen in their dreams, it was needed. It needed to be propped up way higher. Indeed, the future there would be a great flood, and for this world to survive, Mesa Island would have to remain above water. Although that future was a very distant one, the Ovates remained as selfless as ever in their dedication to harmony and balance. Thus, they built Kukar, but alas, found themselves unable to give it sentience. Ever embracing the flow of things, the Ovates held the firm belief that their part in saving Mesa Island had been played. They moved on to completing the vision they had seen in a shared dream, and from the essence of the very clouds conjured the sky giants. There would come a time when the Ovates would go extinct and it would fall to the sky giants to keep watch. They would be tasked with establishing a council in the clouds to oversee three very important things. First of which was to keep watch over the elements. While the flood was unavoidable, maintaining balance would remain a challenge unless the new Ovates arose. Secondly, they would be gatekeepers of the Sea of Stars, carefully vetting those who would seek to travel between worlds. Lastly, there was the matter of Kukar. It remained incomplete, so they would need to be on the lookout for a wielder of magic pointed enough to make the construct sentient. In the end, it was the Great Eagle who helped them in this. Nowadays, few are aware of Kukar's purpose, most believing it to be nothing more than a impressive feat of masonry. And even from a prophetic standpoint, there isn't a real way to know whether it will withstand the coming flood. But until then, Kukar's role will remain a passive one. Holding on with an ever-firm grip, it would stand tall, inspiring mortals as a testament to stoism and true dedication. One need only lay eyes upon the construct once to understand where it got its title of Kukar the Unyielding. The end. Just saw that. Celestial Willow Leaf? I don't know what that is. So I guess, yeah, <laughs> I have to build. Rashan into a tank. You have returned. We are sorry about the passing of your friend. Our world has lost a kind soul, indeed. Thank you. The sleeper has been soothed and has awoken. So it has. You would claim the reward, then? Yes. We demand access to the Sea of Stars. Are you prepared for the voyage? We are. Mumble, 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 mumble. Do they know what to expect? We don't know what the Sea of Stars even is. It is the very passage you seek in order to see this journey through. It lies at the core of our world the infinitely great within the infinitely small. How do we get to it? We shall get to that in due time. First, all travelers must be registered. Please gather your group. Honorable Council, if you could make an exception, I would like to go as Captain Cliché. My crew, they... Mumble, mumble, mumble. We will allow it. Thank you. Okay, let's gather everyone and form a line. Present yourselves, travelers. Luna Moncavalier. 
Next. Solar Blade Dancer Zale. Next. Next. <laughs> Pirate Captain Cliche. Next. I will travel across the Sea of Stars or my name is not Keenathan. Roll a name, please. Pirate Wind Mage Keenathan. Mumble, mumble, mumble. Mumble, mumble. The error must be on our end. We will disregard it. Next. Pirate Quartermaster Jack of all Jack of all trade. Oh god damn it. I just got that. Next. Pirate first mate Yolanda Ernest well meaning demolition busy lookout practically any time service fort wall. Founder. Next. Ghost Navigator Hortons. Already cleared from a previous trip. Next. Traveling Historian Teeks. All clear. Luana. You are the leader of this group. Yes. We hereby grant you access to the Sea of Stars. Allow us. Ah. The four sunken giants marks the entrance. Now go and sail where to where you are most needed. Thank you. We'll use this gift to bring about peace. Godspeed. I remember if there was a save point here. It doesn't look like it. I think I have to use the the travel thing. Um, we need to go to Kuka. No. Hey, there you go. Right away. See, that island, I have no idea how you would get to it. Unless this is like a hidden entrance. No. Nah. Alright, here we go.
trek to the center of the world. Oh boy. Well, at least it's a party of three now, so... Right. Oh, it's the ants. I just realized. Stuff that I've fought before. But I guess they're stronger. almost seems like a boss rush. Okay, uh... Hey guys. one at least. the frog. Deal with the frog first. Shield. Uh, 
Uh, okay, this is fine. Is it? Oh, there's no map. Oh, this looks cool. turning 3D. Whoa. Did we just <laughs> get upgraded? Yeah, tutorial over. 3D game starts now. How far from home are we? Oh wow, this this is like very Chrono Trigger. Intruder alert. Are we gonna meet a robot? That'll join our team? If so, like that's gonna be a very Chrono Trigger. Entities from another world have breached the command. Commencing elimination. Watch out. Oh what? Okay, hang on. Whoa, the music. It's okay, I can do it again. Oh, wait, no, I can't. Okay, um... Oh, maybe I can do it. I just have to time it. Got it. Everyone, Luna Shield up. Yeah. 
nice. All right, do it. Oh. Oh, you're trying to be funny? Ultimate! Nice. Four robots, they started it. Satisfying fight. This place seems so advanced. There is nothing like this mentioned in any records. Oh shit. Welcome to my world. Whoa. We desperately need you. Sarai. Why didn't you tell us? I couldn't find the words. Would you have stuck around if you knew? Of course, we'd be nowhere without you. My world fell to the flesh man so a very long time ago. It's completely lost. Up above, Skybase produces nasty clouds that prevent sunlight from reaching the surface. And the moon. He sank it into the ocean. Do you understand? The moon and the sun disconnected. No more children of Solstice. Will you help? You know we will. Where do we begin? By visiting my home. I have been away for far too long. My people. Are they? Like me? Yes. One by one we were turned into cyborgs by the Wicked Catalyst, a sentient evil machine. Cursed by immortality in this form, my people linger helplessly while the Dweller of Dread slowly feeds on their souls. Sarai, I'm so sorry. You can help. This is exactly why I left. To find Solstice Warriors. To find you. If we can remove the clouds, the moon will shine again. Then the Dweller of Dread would be made vulnerable. We will cleanse your world, I swear it. And I swear it too. Thank you. Getting to Skybase won't be easy, but a lead might have been found while I was away. Let's make for Repine, my hometown. I want to show you what we are fighting here. What about the Fleshmancer? His lair lies on a flying piece of land. I have absolutely no idea how to get there. Okay, first things first. Let's visit your place. Repine is on Cerulean Island, east of the exit of here. The derelict factory might pose a challenge, but I suppose we've been through worse. Alright, lead the way. Oh, she's gonna abandon her mask now. Well, I mean, I guess technically we did meet a robot. <laughs> it kept the Chrono Trigger vibe. 
was there really no save point? Guess not. This is a way to do the, uh, the future. Yeah, this stuff, this is giving me strong Chrono Trigger vibes. Very good thing. Okay, I am going to continue, but I'm going to need a little bit of an intermission, like two to five minutes. I just want to refill my water bottle and stretch, but I've been making an effort to get through this, so I'm going to continue. Uh, just, yeah, let me take a small break, and we'll do more of this. Uh, but if you are watching this later on YouTube, this is the part where I say thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed, and if you want to support the channel, the easiest way to do so is just click one of the many buttons that are available to you, like the ones that have a thumbs up on them. It helps out the channel out a lot, or you can click one of the videos to watch me do something else in the meantime. But, uh, yeah. Bye, YouTube.